All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Windbreaker episode four. In the last episode, uh, we kind of, well, had what was the start of a fight um, between Sakura and uh, Sugishita. Um, honestly, very good start to the fight. Sakura kind of beat, of our, beat his ass, but obviously it had to be concluded quick um, because the main man, top boss, top brass of the school, voiced by Mr. Gojo himself, um, was on the intercom. They were like, hey, you guys wouldn't start a fire on your first day, would you? I don't think so. Um, but yeah, we went on to kind of, uh, we were patrolling the town and we, we met the other group or another group, um, which seemed to be a lot more deadlier and bad and obviously aren't helping out the, the town. The rules are completely different on their side of town. Um, and obviously Sakura went straight into it went over the line uh, to save a uh, middle schooler. But also, Sugishita uh, went over as well. I love that he's on the same type of time that Sakura is, um, so I can see them being an interesting duo in the future. Uh, and then the episode ended off with them meeting uh, the top boy, Hajime. And uh, yeah, he, <laughs> he's, he's a bit of a gardener. He's got a bit of a green thumb. He seems all smiling, giggly, but... Uh, <laughs> Just like uh, the main the main role that his voice actor is known for, um, it's the uh, the relaxed ones that are more that are always the strongest in anime. So, yeah, I guess we'll see what's going to happen in this episode. Very excited for it. As always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. It's going to be something to do with his plants. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> He's getting stressed out. He's gonna. I see why he needs his heart bear medicine now. <laughs> He's so furious. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at him agreeing over there. He yaps till he's satisfied. <laughs> they all respect him. He's gonna show you why they all respect him, though. Oh, even the middle schoolers are on like this uh, on this time as well, trying to help out the community. Oh. Leave it to us. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. They kicked the guy in the face. Oh, <laughs> bro needs to go to the, a doctor for real. Yeah, he did. He did square up to the guy. To be fair. <laughs> yeah, the head part. <laughs> this guy is really uh, like a human cat. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's mad confused, but <laughs> of course he's jealous. Oh, Bro's getting the childhood fen friends and family package that he deserves. Oh shit, he's been beat up. Bro, they walking on into your school grounds? Wait, this is the leader? He looks kind of short. He looks kind of deadly, though, not gonna lie. He, he seems like a nut job. I guess Sakura's about to find out why this guy's top of the school. <laughs> Sakura, you crazy too. Oh. Oh, he's on the move. Let's go. I love when a funny character gets serious. 
<laughs> Bro's got aura. This kid's actually a psycho. I actually want to see this kid get knocked out. Not gonna lie. Oh my god. How many people they beat up? Oh god, here we go. Bro, did he block that shit? The dust cloud that came off that. What if he doesn't want to? Huh? You want? What the hell? Ah, uh, classic. Lonely at the top trope. Clearly they're doing life right and your guys' group isn't. Oh god. The clan brigade, here we go. Alright, it's it's time for the rest of our school to pull up then. If these guys have. Yep, yeah, it's time boys, let's go. <laughs> Mophead. Yeah, damn right. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Fuck around and find out. Your punk ass is about to get dropped. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got our matchups right here. Jesus. We're not gonna see a fight this episode? Okay. Yeah, I'm down for that. Not a full on war, we can just have some one on ones. Oh, who's this? Sakura? Yeah. Let's go. You're gonna get your ass beat, bro. Also, definitely gonna get your ass beat. So it's just the four of them? Or is this person gonna fight Mr. Spiky Head? Oh shit. This is someone he knows. Maybe it's a friend of his. Okay, let's go. These five are like the ones that are pulling up to this. Where are the rest of the kings of this school though? When are we gonna, gonna meet them? I feel like they should get involved in this. Oh, the whole gang's here? Why are you stressed? You're not even fighting. Zenitsu Takamichi looking ass. Oh. Oh, Omu Rice. Ain't no way that's gonna happen. <laughs> Sakura chowing down. That was quick. Eat your veggies. <laughs> Bro, the school was ready to fight right there. Oh, we're gonna find out. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah, Umumi. Umumi is definitely a brother, isn't it? Oh, maybe not. Is she a sister or, is she, or does he like her? Oh. Are they brother and sister? Little sister? Big sister? Oh. So they're foster kids together. Sixteen? I thought she was like twenty. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> what is his problem? Oh wow. Yeah, don't piss him off. 
How is she 16? What the fuck? Yeah, that's why you need to n never release that story. <laughs> yeah, now they seem alpha blood, especially the glasses guy. He seems a bit psychotic. Is he really the problem? I feel like the tall guy's the problem. I feel like the short guy, I don't know if he'd like go after middle school kids like that. But then again, I don't know if the tall guy would have done the same. It was like lackeys from his group, so I don't know. Oh, so they are fighting then. <laughs> oh. Bro, when they're in the end of the episode, I've got to wait another week to see this fight. Yeah, damn right. <laughs> oh, he's never going to stop being embarrassed. I swear this team better, this other group better play it fair. They better just stick to 1v1s. It's funny that Takamichi's coming as well. <laughs> I promise I'm not going to keep calling him that, but you know what I mean. Right, so that was Windbreakers episode 4. Uh, that was another very good episode there. We got to see a little bit of an inkling as to uh, how strong Ume is or how much he's respected or his, the aura that he gives off. They made Sakura shudder and stand in his place as well, even when he wasn't looking at him properly. Um, but yeah, we've got some 1v1s coming in the next episode. We're going to see how that's going to go. Hopefully the, uh, the enemy group is somewhat respectful in this case and they stick to a 1v1, but I guess we'll see how that's going to go. Um, I wonder if we're going to absolutely destroy them or not, or if we're going to kind of see uh, this this leader Ume's kind of his full ability uh, against this uh, smaller guy. Um, yeah, I guess we'll see. Uh, Overseem is very quirky, they're very sleazy, um, and obviously quite blood bloodthirsty, but the leader seems, I wouldn't say bloodthirsty, I just just psychotic. I don't know. Um, I guess we'll see what's going to happen. Very much looking forward to it. As always, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my reaction today. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.